So in this video, I'll be replacing the water filter in a Filtrate cold water filtration system. You see the system right here, it's an under the sink unit and uh, it's attached to the cold line as you'd expect. And here is the replacement filter right here. The system itself is called the 3US-MAX-S01. The filter I'm using is called the 3US-MAX-F01. And you want to make sure you get this filter because this is the one that will filter out lead. They have another filter that only is for taste. That's their aesthetic filter. It's fine, but it doesn't reduce lead from your water. So go ahead and get this lead version again. You can see, see it here. It's the 3US-MAX-F01 filter. It's easy to find on Home Depot, Walmart, stuff like that. Even Amazon has it sometimes. It costs about $35. So here's the filter. It's installed in this little plastic holder here. You want to be careful. There's water lines all over the place. It's very easy to take out and replace once you know what it is. You don't have to turn off your water line. You can. That won't make any difference, but you don't have to because there's a spring-loaded valve in the top here. So if you want to place the filter, don't do anything. Don't shut your water for anything like that. Just go ahead, turn this clockwise. So towards you, basically. Some water came out. That's totally fine, but it stopped. You'll get about two tablespoons of water. You could try to catch it, but it's really not even worth it because there's so little water there. Just mop it up when you're done. This is filled with water. This has like two or three cups of water in it. So when you dispose of it, just drain it out first. Right now it weighs like five pounds. And uh, if you turn it upside down, you get water all over. I'll clean up all this water. And you wanna make sure that your area is dry before you start so that if there are any little leaks afterwards or something's not seated properly or your filter is cracked in transit or something like that, you wanna make sure that, and know if the water came from after the installation. So make sure everything's nice and dry. If you have a really tight under the sink area, then you could make this installation not permanent. So this thing has a little bit of movement to it. Uh, so just don't screw it down too much. Okay, here's the filter. It has a red cap on it. Remove the red cap. There's a little bit of lubricant on these two O-rings. Just leave it there. Don't get it all over your hands. That'll make it go in and out easier. This is food safe. It's just a, a light lubricant to ensure there are no leaks. So go straight up and then turn it until it locks in place. You'll know it's in place, but you're gonna hear water rushing into the filter. So you heard that rush of noise, it's in place now. And now you should do two things. First, I'd recommend writing the date somewhere on this. This filter is usually good for six months. It may be less depending on how much stuff is in your water, usually known as your TDS or total dissolved solids. Or if you have construction in your area or something like that that's disrupting the pipes going to your house, you may have water with more stuff in it. The filter has to work harder. It's not gonna last as long. Either way, expect about six months of normal use out of this. I think it's about 800 gallons. So if you have a high use area, household with more people in it or a place of work, it's not gonna last six months. Then before you drink out of this, you wanna run it for 10 minutes. All cold water, run it for 10 minutes. You could save that water, use it uh, for your plants, use it for something like that. Uh, you know, for washing your house, whatever. Uh, don't drink that water. All the stuff from here, the carbon bits and all that little stuff in there, that's washing through. It'll be in that water, so it's best not to drink it. So run it for 10 minutes, and then you're good to go. You'll have full pressure from this and about six months of clean drinking water. Thanks for watching.